healthy hair, healthy me, good hair, good me. Hello, welcome back to Siri Styles. This is Marianne. If you're new, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and join the family. It is finally 2018. I am so excited for this year and I am just looking forward to what it brings. I love setting goals. One of my biggest goals this year is my hair goal. Last year, my hair goal was to gain healthy and thicker hair. I did gain that. I wanted some length, but that didn't really happen much because I didn't do a lot to really maintain my length. So this year, my biggest goal is to grow more inches because longer hair, better me. Well, don't mind me. I would just feel good having longer hair who doesn't want long hair especially as a black woman it's almost like some of us our expectations for hair length is like limited and I don't want to live with myself I want to try to gain those inches in my ideal world this 2018 I would gain 12 inches that's one inch per month but <laughs> who am I kidding well, I'm going to be on the realistic side and say my goal this year is to gain six inches. That's half an inch per month. And I think that is doable. So enough of me rambling. Let's get right into the products. I am going to talk about the products that I'm taking with me on this journey. Some of them are products that I've used before. They're also in my natural hair routine video and some of these products are new I've heard really good things about them and I am willing to take that risk this 2018 to try them first product I'm going with is my Avalon Organics Therapy shampoo it is the biotin B thickening shampoo and I'm going with the conditioner as well I have this in my monthly routine video i absolutely love the shampoo i started using it of recent and i really love it i used to use the argan oil shampoo but since i started using this one i love it and i don't see the reason to change it in 2018 so i'm so going with it the next are my oils i absolutely love oils my hair love oils oils make my hair beautiful so yeah I'm obviously going with my castor oil. I try to use the organic brand. I usually get this brand from the Whole Food store as well as my coconut oil. This is also from the Whole Food store. So yes, coconut oil nourishes my hair as well as castor oil. I wouldn't really say coconut oil adds me length, but I know that it does definitely add nourishment to my hair. Up next is my leave-in conditioner and the leave-in conditioner I'm going with is the Jamaican black castor oil. This conditioner has been working for me. I started using it last year and it's done a great job. There's no reason why I should be changing it now. So yep, definitely going with me. The other oils that I'm going with are this argan oil, I started using it a couple of months ago too. It's supposed to be an organic hair therapy and it's supposed to stimulate hair growth. And I absolutely love it. It has this like warm, calming feeling when you put it on your hair. Like the people whose hair I do, they absolutely, when I put it in their hair, they do feel a difference and I do feel it too. Like it's just, it's very soothing to the hair. When I have like braids on and anything, anytime, it's very soothing. So I'm definitely going with it. The next one is the Wild Growth Hair Oil. I have a friend who uses this and they've said good things about it. I um, 
I've, I've watched a couple of videos on it last year but I just never got to buying it I literally just got it and I'm taking it with me so I'm very excited I've used it twice now and it feels good and it's supposed to grow my hair so I'm so excited to use it next product I'm going with I've actually tried it before but I've never been consistent in it and this year I want to be consistent with it this is the virgin hair fertilizer so it's supposed to be a hair conditioning cream it's very the reason why I think I did not stick to it in the past is because it's very thick so it's made of herbal extract petroleum jelly peppermint oil lanolin and some fragrance I'm not really a big fan of fragrance but well I can deal with that you're supposed to apply it to your hair every day your hair and scalp every day you know and comb through as desired it's very thick and pasty I like liquid products and products that I can easily work with with this I always have to like close the tube and then I rub it in my hair and it just it took longer than expected and was pasty but I felt like it was good so I'm gonna go with it this year just because I really want to grow hair I want to grow land and I want thickness so yeah it's coming with me the next product in line is the Ethiopian hair butter this is also a new product I ordered it online from Shuruba my I have a I I have an Ethiopian friend and she says so much good things about this butter. I also watched a couple of videos and they love the butter. So I'm trying it. It's supposed to be like a pre-poo treatment. So I'm going to try to get more into like pre-poo treatments. And this is what I'm going with, the Ethiopian hair butter. My next product, I'm very excited for this product. It is the Shea Bay Magic. I have heard so much about the Shea Bay Magic. Like, people started raving about this product in like August or so, August or October. But I watched this video and it was showing how the women in chat use the Shea Bay and they have so much long hair. Initially, I was like, you're not gonna get me, you're not gonna get it. But. Now that I'm going into 2018 and I really want to grow my hair, I just fell for it. I'm like, well, just try it. Try it and see what, how it goes. So I'm very excited to try this product. I literally just got it. It's I got the powder. Um, my, my initial problem with it is the packaging. They didn't seal it well. So if you notice, it's like it's not sealed. So when I opened it, I wasn't cautious, so it accidentally spilled. So that's one of my worries now. It's like this is one of those products that I have to be cautious with. But I'm definitely going to do a review on it and, and show you how I use it. So I'm so excited for this product. I got it on the Shea Bay Magic website. Um, when I got it, it was like 37 ish dollars, but the initial price was 40 something. So I've watched a couple of videos on it and I saw the woman's hair on video. It looked good. I mean, I know hair is part genetics, but you have to do what you can to gain that length, and I'm willing to do that. So, yes, yes, yes. These are the products I'm taking with me to 2018. I am in 2018, and these products are with me. I'm very excited for this year and my hair goals. I'm going to get those six inches. I'm not just going to limit it to the products. I'm also going to live a healthy lifestyle, you know, nutrition correlates with your hair growth so last year i actually got into eating healthier you know i did some juicing i did like a lot of whole foods and my hair did grow so i feel like a combination of a healthy lifestyle and healthy routine does help in your hair growth i wouldn't necessarily say i was perfect in it but i was better than i had ever been before so this year i'm really looking to move forward to take it farther and grow more hair so i would like to do this with other people so if you're willing to take this challenge and grow those six inches or more this 2018 let me know in the comment section in we can all do this together. One thing too that I'm that I'm keeping in mind is my edges. 
I really want to protect my edges so I'm gonna do a lot of protective styling this summer I was in on those Conroe's you know like the tribal braids the full knee braids I really did those I slayed them but they went with my edges so I'm really trying this year to protect my edges so I'm gonna stick to wearing a wig grip instead of having to pin instead of having to pin the wig in so I'm really gonna do a lot of protective styling I'm not going to use a lot of heat on my hair this 2018 the only month I'm really planning on using heat in my hair is in November why because November 2018 would be exactly five years since I cut my hair I'm really looking forward to straighten my hair and getting a silk press to see how long my hair actually is so the length check i'm going to do now is not going to be the most accurate because my hair is not that stretched but i'm not really worried because i'm looking to the future you know like i'm looking to the future hair that i'm gonna get this 2018 so pray for me enough of the rumbling let's get to the length check I'm gonna go with 10 inches. It's also 10 inches for this side. Eleven inches. Nine and a half. That is it for my hair length. So the sides of my hair are 10 inches, the middle is 11 inches, and the back is 9.5 inches. Let me know your 2018 hair goals. And please let me know if you're going to join me in the comment section because it's going to be very, I think it will be very exciting to, you know, take on this journey with others and just see how much hair we can grow and, you know, Healthy hair, healthy me, good hair, good me. I'm just obsessed with my hair right now. 2018, I believe, is the time to leave a healthy hair style. <laughs> That's a thing. Well, <laughs> a healthy lifestyle. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it and you're going to use it or you know someone who it can be encouraging to, please share it. Let me know. Talk to me look forward to having more fun on youtube so yeah i'm looking to grow my youtube family and i'm looking to grow my hair please let me know share my videos give me a thumbs up subscribe if you're not yet subscribed and thank you and much love this year bye the things i do while recording Yeah. <laughs>